Today, we're talking about batteries, but not just any batteries, some big batteries. The Max Oak AC100 is a 1000 watt hour battery with a load capacity of 600 watts. It has a built in pure sine wave inverter that gives you the ability to use AC power. For us, this is a great alternative to a gas generator for powering lights in locations where we don't have access to AC power. The Max Oak AC100 allows us to keep the power bank close without having the issue of a gas engine making noise and having to run hundreds of feet of extension cords. Now, let's talk about the quality and expected life cycle of these batteries. According to Max Oak's website, they use LG brand automobile level 3C high rate battery cells that are rated for over 2000 cycles. This is fantastic because not all power banks this size use high quality batteries like this. Many other thousand watt hour power banks, such as the Goal Zero and Jackery, are only rated at 500 cycles to 80%. Pure sine wave power is similar to the power you'd find in your home, while modified sine waves are a simpler form of stepped power. In most cases, modified sine waves are adequate for basic electronics, but they can damage more complex equipment. There's a lot of great videos that explain this more in depth, but explaining sine waves is beyond the scope of this AC100 review. Now moving on. Like many other battery banks, the AC100 has the ability to charge using solar panels with an input voltage of 16 to 40 volts. The time required to charge these batteries can vary greatly depending on the output from your solar panels. When plugged directly into a wall outlet, the charge time from depleted to 100% is about 10 to 11 hours. For power connections, you'll see two 110 to 120 volt AC outlets on the back, which utilize the 600 watt inverter. On the front, there are four USB connections with the ability to each output five volts at three amps. Above that, you'll have a PD 2.0 USB type C connection capable of outputting 45 watts. To the right of those, you have an external interface connection. And finally, you'll find a standard DC 12 volt cigarette lighter port. A nice bonus of this battery bank is the built-in light on the rear of the unit. While this light isn't incredibly bright and wouldn't make sense to use as a portable flashlight, it makes plugging in cords into the back of the unit in the dark much easier. I think Max Oak did a great job with the overall design of the AC100. They kept the design very clean and minimal with no ridiculously bright colors, which I love. The fixed top handle feels nice and solid in the hand. I really appreciate the metal housing on the side, which not only looks good, but helps with heat dissipation. The front and back pieces are plastic, but they do feel solid. The front screen is bright and easy to see. Although the one thing I would have liked to see is an estimated runtime clock on the front. It weighs in at just over 34 pounds, but this is to be expected with any larger size battery. At $850, it comes in pretty reasonably priced compared to other options on the market. We also have a coupon code in the description below that can get you an additional $108 off, bringing the total cost of the AC100 to $742. If this was helpful for you guys and you'd like to see more content from us in the future, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I'm Caleb with Threefold and thanks for watching.